Finding your style can be difficult at first, and there's always room to grow. Everybody and their mother has a DSLR in their pocket, but how are you gonna stand out? In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you all how to color grade with LUTs. How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Dean is Teaching You Things and you are learning them. So what is a LUT? LUT stands for Look Up Table. You probably already know this. It's basically a video preset. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to color grade them and pretty much just basically make it look nice. I know you're busy. I know that you've got a full schedule. You know, you got work, you got school, you got, you got everything. You know, it's, it's life. So uh, let's get through this and Boom. And now we're over here. What a crazy world that we live in. <laughs> so we all saw my intro and basically what we're gonna do here is deconstruct it and show you um, how to get the look that I achieved in this video and how to keep it consistent. Here is the footage without the um, LUT overlaid on top of it. So it's choppy because it's not rendered. But yeah, so as you can tell, it looks Good still. I mean, it's Canon. Shout out to Canon. Yeah, good colors. We want to have a consistency, a unity, a style, a flow. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this LUT. So this is what it's going to look like after. Gives it a more film, more gloomy, more moody kind of look to it. Especially in the first frame from going from this to this adds a lot of uh, cinematic qualities. And I'm going to show you guys how to get this look. So you're gonna take out an adjustment layer and what the adjustment layer is there for is for you to add color to your footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over to Lumetri Color. If it's not already open, you can click on the color tab right here and it'll open up for you. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Creative and we're gonna get a look. So what we're gonna uh, go for in this video was from my LUT package in uh, Lantern Presets and uh, this one is the Organic LUT. So right away you can see a pretty big jump from that to that. You can see there's a lot of difference in the blues, there's a lot of difference in the orange, but it's a little harsh. So to start off, we're going to tone down that harshness by bringing down the intensity. I like to bring down the intensity regardless of what I'm doing. I don't ever like to use the full LUT unless the clip is extremely flat and I'm grading from a Sony uh, S log. So then we're gonna scroll through this and we're gonna see these. So this already big red flag is these are way too orange for me. This is a little oversaturated for me as well. Uh, that looks good and that looks good. So what we're gonna focus on is gonna be these first or these two clips here. So a big thing that when you're color grading is the LUTs aren't gonna be always the same color temperature or graded to the same color temperature as yours are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our basic correction and hop into the temperature panel. Now these are really orange, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them a lot more blue. And then what that's in turn is gonna do is bring them back to their natural color really that they were shot in. Um, as you can see here, they're a lot more, I don't know what you call that, like light brown. And then we bring it here is a lot more orange compared to that is just way that's overkill right there so what we're doing is we're editing on the actual clip themselves but we're not touching the adjustment layer because that's going to give the edit to the remaining clips here so what i'm going to do now is pretty much just play around with all the basic corrections until i get a look that that looks natural to me but also looks cinematic and cool so here i really like the um so I really like the teal look in the sky, and this orange complements it a lot, but I just don't want to make it look too fake. So I'm going to bring up the brightness here. Um, yeah, that looks good. And with this one, there's no skin tones or any people, so I don't really have to worry about contrast and making it look weird, so I can actually boost the contrast to give it a little bit more quality in the uh, the leaves here. All right, cool, that looks good. Okay, so this clip, actually, yeah, so this is too orange for me. 
I'm not a huge fan of this like crazy James Cameron look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cool this down a little bit. So color grading shouldn't be like this punch in the face. It should be a subtle thing. And you're not really moving all these things crazy. Like you're not just like going crazy with the exposure, blowing the contrast out, lowering the highlights to match that, shadows, because it's too dark, whites over here. Sick, looks good, dude. No, you're making it subtle. You're not losing any of this information over here and you're not doing anything that your mom wouldn't approve of. First of all, what I can see is we're losing a little bit of detail over here, but I kind of like this light ray, so I'm just gonna lower the highlights just a little bit so we don't lose the detail in the waves as much. Um, we're also gonna bring up the shadows just ever so slightly, just so we get away from this ominous pit kind of look. Uh, keep the whites there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my saturation down to about 90. So we're not getting this crazy blown out orange look over here. We're getting a more subtle kind of look here. Okay, so as you can tell, the only thing that really changed dramatically was the highlights um, over here. And I was trying to save this detail and all these people. Everybody looks good. I'm okay, I'm happy. Now let's watch that through. LUTs can definitely be a powerful tool, and if you know which one that you like and how to tweak it immediately, like, oh, I like, um, for this example, uh, organic at 70 intensity, you can pretty much just flop that on. <laughs> flop. You can flop that one on. You can just slap that LUT on, 70, go through all your footage, do a little bit of correction, and then you're like, cool, this one matches my skin tones. I really like how this one looks. It's perfect for a sunset beach kind of day. So it's really getting to know the LUTs and really Really, really making making good friends with them. I'm really personifying LUTs here. They're not people. LUTs are not people. Don't get any wrong ideas. LUTs aren't people. So this is basically it. This didn't take long at all. And as you can see, grading with LUTs speeds up your workflow immensely. So instead of me trying to figure out uh, how to get the orange and teal kind of look, I just throw on the LUT and then I've already got it. So it's pretty cool. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe and leave a comment. Also, we are announcing the winners to the LUTs. Your names will be listed below in the comments. Woo, exciting. Congratulations to everybody who won, everybody who participated. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. And as always, have a great rest of your day and Keep killing it out there. <laughs> <laughs>